Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 24. Today we will have our, divis our division quiz, quiz on division problems, quiz number 2. Let's get going. Do the problems. Do the problem as soon as I put finish writing them on the blackboard. Do it. Uh, do, 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 them, do them yourself. Here we go. Thirty six divided by four. Eighty one divided by nine. Seventy two divided by eight. Forty nine divided by seven. Fifty four divided by six. A hundred divided by 10. These are based on the times table that we learned. Times table of 1 through 12 that I asked you to memorize. That's what it is. 36 divided by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9 because 9 fourths are 36. How do we know 9 fourths are 36? Because 10 fourths are going to be 40. And 36 is 4 less than 40. 81 divided by 9 is also 9. And how do we know that? Because 9 squared is 81. I hope that by now you know your squares 1 through 10. 72 divided by 8 is also going to be 9. What the hell? We have hat trick here. We have we have hat trick. 47 divided by 49 divided by 7 is 7. Again, because 7 square is 49. You have to know your squares by heart, at least 1 through 10. 54 divided by 6 is also going to be 9 because 54 is just 6 less than 60. 54 is just 6 less than 60 and 60 would have been 10 sixes. So this is 9 sixes and this is just 10. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. divided by 9, 56 divided by 8, 35 divided by 7, and 16 divided by 4. Very quickly, 63 divided by 9 is going to be 7, because 7 9s are 63. How do we know 7 9s are 63? Because if we add one more 7 to 63, we get 70, which is 10 70s. So this is going to be 9 70. 56 divided by 8. 56. 56 divided by 8. 8. Uh, because we know 64. 8, 8 square is 64. You have, as I keep telling you, you have to know your squares. 8 square, 8 square is 64. 56 is 8 less than that. Which means if this is 8 eights, this is going to be 7 eights. 7 fives are 35, we know 7 fives are 35, and 16 divided by 4 is just going to be 4. Now we're going to make a thing a little bit more complicated. Now we're going to make a thing a little bit complicated. Instead of 63 divided by 9, if we, what if we had 63,126 63, divided by 7 divided by uh, rather 9 divided by 9. We're not going to divide 63 by 9 but let's divide 63,126 by 9. Before we, ever, before we even do the work the very first thing we need to ask ourselves is is this number is this number even is this number even divisible by 9? Is it is it evenly divisible? Is it even evenly divisible by 9? Will it go into 9 at all. How do we know if a number is divisible by 9? Not today, not tomorrow, day number 25, but in the next couple of days I will make two more videos where we will learn the rules of divisibility. Right now I'm going to briefly tell you how to figure out if a number is divisible by 9. A number, a given number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is 
divisible by 3. If, this, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Here we are not talking about 3, we are talking about 9. The same rule applies. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the number itself is divisible by 9. Is this number even divisible by 9? Let's find out, shall we? But this is very easy. 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's, that part is not going to be an issue. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. Oh, there you go. So this number should be divisible by 9. What do you know? Let's do it, shall we? 63,126 divided by 9. Well, 63, we already did that a little while ago. I mean, we knew that there are 7 9s and 63. But, but let's do it systematically. Let's do it systematically. Okay, I'm going to start the process from scratch. How many 9s and a 6? How many 9s and a 6? Six? 6 has no 9s. That 6 goes and joins the 3 becomes 63. How many 9s and a 63? 63 has 7 9s. 7 9s are 63. How many 9s and a 1? 1 has no 9s. 1 has no 9s. That one goes and joins the 2 and becomes 12. How many 9s and a 12? 12 has 1 9. The remaining 3 goes and joins the 6. Remaining 3 goes and joins the 6 and becomes 36. It becomes 36. How many 9s and a 36? 36 has 4 9s. There you go. There is your answer. 7014 is the answer and if you like you can actually verify it. Multiply 7014 by 9 and you will see that you will get 63,126. 9 4s are 36, carry 3, 9 ones are 9 plus 3 is 12 and 9 7s are 63. What do you know? Let's do one more shall we? Let's do one more. Next one. Let's do one more. The next one we have is 568 divided by 8. 568 divided by 8. Well, we just learned a little while ago that uh, 56, we just learned that 56 is 8 less than 64. 56 is 8 less than 54 and 64 is 8 eighths. So this must be 7 eighths. But let's do the process. Let's do the process. We must follow the process. How many eight in a how many eights in a five? Five has no eights. That five goes and joins the six and becomes fifty-six. How many eights in a fifty-six? Fifty-six has, as we found just found out, fifty-six has seven eights. And then how many eights in a eight? Eight has one eight. And again, if you were to multiply it out, you'll see that you'll get the answer that you're looking for. We'll get 8 and 7, 7 8, 7 8 are 50, 58, or rather 56. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. About 330, 357 divided by 7. 357 divided by 7. 357 divided by 7. How many 7 does 3 have? 3 has no 7s. That 3 goes and joins the 5, becomes 35. How many 7s does 35 have? 35 has 5 7s. And then how many 7s does 7 have? 7 has 1 7. Again, 51 times 7 is going to give us 357 that we started out with. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Sixteen thousand and sixteen divided by four. Sixteen thousand sixteen divided by four is actually very simple, very straightforward. How many one? How many is four? Does one have? One has no fours. That one goes and joins the six becomes sixteen. Sixteen has four fours. How many fours does zero have? Zero has no fours. Okay. That that's usually how I make my zero. So let's just cross it out like that. Oh, I didn't mean to cross out the top zero. Top zero is just a zero. Oh, I'm making it too complicated. Sometimes I write my zeros like that. So that's the zero. 
and then let's cross it out. Every time you finish with the digit, cross it out so that, that you, so that you so that you know that you're done. How many how many fours does one have? One has no fours. That one goes and joins the six becomes sixteen, and sixteen has four fours. So the final answer is four thousand four times four is going to give you back what you started out with. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.